Welcome back to the Torque Test Channel. Lots of new releases from Rigid lately, and we'll be buying pretty much all of them as they come out to show on the channel, which includes their new impact wrenches. And what showed up first, here we have the all new R86012 mid torque, which came out this past week. And this is actually the impact wrench we're most excited about because it's the only one from the brand that's advertising a performance upgrade over their previous octane generation, unlike their new high torque, which we'll be testing too. Rigid's new impacts have been teased for about one full year now on their website. Originally said fall, then winter, now spring, but they're finally here. And again, at least with this mid torque, that's a welcome update. The previous R86011B we tested was admittedly a solid mid-range price point gun and advertised 485 foot-pounds and 620 breakaway at 7.7 .7 inches in length. This new generation mid-torque is a full inch shorter, so 6.7 inches long now, and advertising 500 tightening and 650 breakaway. That 650 breakaway figure now matches exactly with the Milwaukee Gen 2 mid-torque, though this one brings 550 tightening according to the brand, and at a much more trim 6 inches in length. So it seems that with that 650 figure, the two separate arms of TTI who make both of these are crossing paths as it were. And really this won't be the first time either if you think about it. Milwaukee's Gen 1 mid-torque had a very similar spec to, and in our testing performed incredibly close, to the lower cost Gen 5 and Octane class of Rigid's mid-size impacts. Until Milwaukee came out with the Gen 2 and left the Rigid behind a bit. This new introduction from Rigid this week may just balance the skills again, albeit maybe a year later or so, we'll have to see. What also feels a bit more red about this tool will be your experience at the checkout counter. Call it inflation or whatever, but gone are the days of a large price gap between the two orange and red brands that distinctly place them in different categories. This new R86012 is $200 now, getting pretty close to the Milwaukee 219. Ours is a pin detent rather than hog ring because for a brief, I guess, glitch, now looking back, the pin detent was $179 when we purchased it. But no, both of them an unavoidable $199 on the site now. So no cost savings to show off for you on what would have effectively been the same tool, but in our experience just a more annoying socket retention with the pin detent. All that said, I'm rather fond of this overall design on the Rigid. It's very mid torquey feeling in proportion to me and just sort of nice to hold, no nonsense. Though some of what they have removed did make sense. The tri-beam LED lights on the Octane, for instance, are gone replaced with more old school bottom lighting that seems objectively worse, but maybe some people prefer. The Ridge is going to be using the 3 amp hour 21700 cell octane battery that we've had most luck with in this size category, but we'll also be trying out the max output that they sell these tools with in kits to compare, as historically it hasn't really quite caught up with the 3 amp hour pack, but we want to see if this new gen of tools like the new gen of batteries perhaps a bit more. Our first test is called Working Torque, 5 seconds and forward. We're of course going to be showing the previous gen Octane Rigid Mid Torque, but also both options from Milwaukee in their 3 8 and half inch Gen 2 Mid Torque impacts because they make different peak numbers for us and also come out of the hole when tested a bit differently too. So you'll see both on screen for you. Here's the previous Rigid versus those. So yeah, quite a gap. Based on the specs of this new model, despite being shorter, that gap should be closing up nicely though. Let's see. One thing we noticed on the Rigid is super high RPM compared to most tools in this category. So 347, right in the mix with the couple Milwaukee mid-torque variants. That's helped in part by impacts per minute in this short of a test, so we'll have to see in subsequent tests if its hammers can really keep up on tighter stuff. To that point, our next test is max torque, 10 seconds in reverse. Here's the Octane taking on the Milwaukee mids once again.
So 301, a full 100 foot-pounds or so below the modern competition that TTI is putting out. Now here's the new rigid R86012. Four hundred and thirty, building a gap on, well, every model we show here. Very nice. Of course, we can't really compare dynamic force power per blow on this tool versus the red team as it's bringing 3,800 impacts per minute versus the Milwaukee's 3,100. So it's able to snug up, well, more than snug up if we're talking 300 to 400 foot pounds to get there sooner versus the others due to that higher IPM. Remember, we're starting from zero torque and building to find the capabilities of these tools. You're likely already starting at a bolt that's very tight. It does look like the Rigid's power curve is flattening out here towards the end though, so let's see in our final 15 second test, which is as long as standardized tests go for impact wrenches, if things get a bit more interesting. So the Octane model is making some good gains towards the end of this longer test, getting a little closer to the Milwaukee's now. Now let's see the new one's best run in this best case scenario test with freshly charged battery. Four hundred and fifty-seven, very good numbers for this category, but also sort of laid over and couldn't improve much from its ten-second run. And the three-eighths Milwaukee's best run is able to make earlier gains over it in this test, though the rigid is still putting a gap on both of them in the mid-range from higher blows per minute. So this new mid-torque is pretty good, just the sort of stuff we were hoping to see with this new gen. Yes, of course, we're hitting higher prices, but maybe more Milwaukee-ish performance to go along with that. But the battery you'll be getting in a kit with this tool is no longer Octane, it would be their 4 amp hour max output, so let's snap one of those on and see if there's any measurable difference. Here's that versus the 3 amp hour 21700 cell pack that we've been using so far. Four sixty four, so actually some higher peak gains, something we've not seen before using these batteries on Octane tools. Perhaps the higher discharge rate of the larger Samsung thirty T cells in the three amp hour made for earlier gains, but some nice crossover at the top with the newer four amp hour pack. Another bit of good news. Maybe it is just luck though, or maybe the newer generation rigid tools like the newer batteries. Not sure. Either way, average it across the run, the three amp hour pack put out slightly more power, so that's what we're gonna be using to score it on our rank chart here. So let's take a look. Starting down here for now, next to its TTI cousin, the Ryobi Mid Torque, which is also a very good when it comes to power impact wrench. The new smoother and less edgy class of rigid Mid Torque runs are turned into points as 35, 43, and 46, some upper crust stuff. It's 6.7 inches long, which is much shorter than the Octane it replaces, and a bit shorter than the Ryobi, but still made very good power. That's 68.2 foot-pounds per inch, pretty good, but also not touching the guys up here with that. Its advertised torque went up, but percentage-wise, its performance we measured went up even more than what they were saying, which is good enough for 91% of their claim. $199 means the Ryobi is going to remain the deal in this category, 34.5 points as a function of power and price. That totals 317.7, climbing up a spot to bump down the Ryobi and just sit below the Milwaukee. Which makes sense to us, one of the times we agree with this at times very cold-hearted rank chart. When looking at power alone across the run, caring about nothing else, the Rigid scores 380 points, which is very good and above the Ryobi and just below the Makita. 
not a bad place to be. Rigid has their new 8 amp hour max output battery coming out very soon, and that should be finally a return to 21700 cell type batteries. So we look forward to that one's debut and to see what type of effect it might have on these new tools. This new Rigid is the exact same length as a Makita mid-torque, but that Makita uses its chunkiness to bring extra beans and you feel it at 5.9 pounds or so when you're using it. And yeah, this new Rigid is not a DeWalt DCF891 power-wise, because that thing's frankly insane from everything we can tell, but at just 5.15 pounds with the battery attached, you'll often be happy Rigid didn't take that chunkier route when using it, and despite its extra length versus the Milwaukee actually weighs the same as the M18 with the battery attached as tested. It really is a nice tool to be holding. We hope channels like Shop Tool Reviews do some nut busting tests with it to see how that IPM difference shakes out there as our data implies it might be an interesting difference. It'll sure take off lug nuts in a hurry at this power and speed though. Stay tuned as we unwrap the new Rigid High Torque and see with its lower specs and higher price point if it's as perplexing a change as it appears to us. Click subscribe to see that and thanks for watching.